Hey guys, this is your host Eric. Today we are going to watch survival genre movie called Goal. Spoilers ahead, turn on your subtitle, I greatly appreciate your support. Enjoy the video. In the beginning of the movie, a train is going through an empty area. A man named Virgil is sitting and eating some pieces of bread in front of him. He has a rough look to him. He can see a strange woman staring at him while she tries to calm down her baby. After a while, the train comes to a stop and Virgil gets off, but not before giving the woman inside his bread. He then goes to a nearby shop and asks the owner if he has seen anyone. But the owner just keeps watching TV and doesn't say anything. Later, when Virgil asks the owner where the bathroom is, the owner answers in a different language. After a while of walking, he gets to the bathroom and finds it dirty and full of flies. Even so, Virgil has to use it to make his stomach feel better. A manly voice asks him in the bathroom if he's waiting for someone to go to the compound. When Virgil hears this, he says yes, and the man walks away. A man walks up to Virgil as he washes his face and tells him not to waste any water. In the next scene, Virgil is driven to the compound by Keith, a truck driver. On the way, Keith tells Virgil how much he will charge him for the ride. Virgil is a little surprised to see that the fee has gone up, since he thought it was only $200 given how hot it is. When Virgil tries to turn on the air conditioner in the truck, Keith scolds him, saying that it will put pressure on the engine and hurt it. After driving for a while, the truck's tire goes flat, so they have to pull over and change it while they're there. Two wild dogs are fighting with each other. When Keith sees this, he chases the healthy dog and kills the one that is hurt without any pain. Soon, they will fix the tire and get back on the road. Later, they stop to get more gas, but since it's already night, they decide to call it a day and spend the night together. Tomorrow, they'll keep going on their trip. Keith asks Virgil why he wants to go to. Virgil says that he is looking for a once-in-a-lifetime chance and is sure he will find it there. Keith goes to the compound often, and he tries to get Virgil to understand that it is not a better place to find opportunities. He also says that hard work is the only thing he can find there. But Virgil says that he is not scared of hard work. The next morning, Keith is in the passenger seat while Virgil drives the truck. After driving for a while in the hot sun, Virgil starts to feel hot and decides to turn on the AC as much as it can go. This makes the truck's engine stop working. Keith yells at Virgil and tells him to stop when he finds out what happened. After stopping, Virgil says he's sorry and then goes to the bathroom. On his way back to the truck, he sees a group of rocks that interests him. He gets close and cleans one of them with a cloth. The rock looks like it is made of gold, which is a surprise to Virgil. He calls Keith's name and tells him to look at the rocks. When Keith gets there, he pulls out a lighter and says, if it burns and turns black, it's not gold. But when he shoots at a part of the stone, the color doesn't change, so Keith thinks it's gold. The next scene shows the two men using shovels to dig gold out of the ground. But the rock is so big and stuck in place that, no matter how hard they try, they can't move it even an inch. After that, they decide to pull the gold with a rope attached to the truck. But the rock doesn't move, and the rope comes loose. Keith goes out in the evening to find some firewood for the night. He tells Virgil that there are a lot of wild dogs in the area that can only be scared away. When Virgil hears this, he joins him, and the two of them bring back a stack of firewood. They start a fire and talk with each other about the money they just found. Keith gets very excited when he thinks about how soon their lives will change. After a while, he gets so excited that he screams and jumps. Keith says that they can't get the gold out by hand, so one of them will have to go to town and get an excavator to dig it out. He also says that he knows some people who can lend them an excavator, and he suggests that Virgil go to the town. This is because Virgil is not used to living in a desert and doesn't know how to stay there for a long time. But Virgil doesn't agree, so he tells Keith to go get an excavator while he waits and keeps the gold safe. He also says that he doesn't know enough people in the new town and doesn't know what's going on there. When Keith hears this, he asks him one last time if this is his final choice. Virgil tells him that he is a tough guy and can handle this situation with ease. The next morning, Keith is shown leaving the place. Before he left, he gave Virgil some canned food, some water, and a small tent cloth. He also gives Virgil a satellite phone and a pocket knife to help him stay safe and stay in touch. Keith then says that it might take him about five days to get back with him. After telling Virgil to keep his head up and take care of himself, he leaves. Later, Virgil takes the tent cloth and ties it around a nearby tree to make a place for him to stay. He also pulls out the satellite phone to make sure it works. After that, he goes around looking for firewood. When he comes back to his shelter after getting some firewood for the night, he finds a scorpion roaming around. He gets rid of the scorpion by hitting it with a piece of wood. Soon it will be night, and Virgil will be seen sitting by the fire and warming up his canned food. He eats his food and enjoys it, but when he hears the wild dogs fighting nearby, he starts to worry. Because of this, he is holding his pocket knife. The next morning, Virgil wakes up looking tired and pale. He goes right away to get rid of the food in his stomach, but he doesn't want to use any water to clean himself. 
At the same time, Virgil's satellite phone rings, but before he can get to it, it cuts off. Virgil walks around and finds the wreckage of a plane that had crashed. He decides to use it as a place to stay, but he can't see where the gold is. After that, he gives up on his idea, but he takes some parts of the plane and puts them together to make a place to live. Soon after, Virgil, who is tired, falls asleep. When he wakes up, the sun has burned a part of his face. He then sits down next to the gold and begins to talk to himself. He comes up with the idea of hitting a piece of gold over and over with a rock to try to break it. He does it, and he also breaks a small but heavy piece of gold. He quickly picks up the satellite phone when Keith calls. Keith tells him that it will take longer than he thought because the engine in his truck keeps getting too hot. Virgil tells him that he was able to break a small piece of gold, but Keith tells him to sit right next to the gold and he will do his best to get to him. Soon it will be night, and you'll be able to see Virgil sitting right next to the gold as some wild dogs come close to him. He scares the dogs away with the firewood and gets away from them. The next day, Virgil fills a bottle with water and drinks it. Simultaneously, he sees a striped snake coming up close to him. The snake gets away when he tries to kill it. When he turns around, he sees that he accidentally knocked the bottle over and most of the water has spilled out. Later, he goes back to the place where the plane crashed and tries to find more wreckage to add to his shelter. At that moment, he sees someone coming toward him. He gets on the plane and tries to stay out of sight. After a while, the stranger walks up to the plane and tells the man to stop hiding. The stranger turns out to be a woman who offers him food and drinks, but Virgil refuses to take anything from her. She also asks Virgil why he is in the desert and how he got there, but Virgil stays quiet and doesn't answer. Later, he tells the woman that she can stay in the plane and starts to leave, but the woman thinks he's hiding something from her, and you can see her chasing after Virgil and asking him how he got there in the first place. Getting tired of the questions, Virgil talks to the woman and tells her not to get involved in his business. He also tells her to leave. The woman sees Virgil's shelter and walks toward it. When she gets there, she tries to destroy it and tells him to leave. When Virgil sees her, he gets angry and kills her with the shovel. Then, he takes everything useful out of her pack and buries her near his shelter. Soon after, the wild dogs dug up the dead body and started to pull. When Virgil sees it, he sends the dogs away. Then, he drags the woman's body some distance away and burns it with some firewood while he is crying. The next morning, Virgil hears the satellite phone ringing and gets up to answer it. Keith on the other side tells him that he found the excavator, but that will need a little more time to get there because the excavator's load is slowing him down. Before the call ends, Keith tells Virgil to stay strong in the future. Virgil sees a truck coming, but he can't get away because he wants more gold. After that, he sees a sandstorm coming as he searches for firewood for the night. He runs to the shelter and tries to stay safe there, but the storm damages the shelter quickly, forcing Virgil to run for his life. On his way, a tree hits him hard and hurts him. After a while, the storm ends, and Virgil wakes up in a pile of sand with a stick stuck in his stomach. He doesn't pull out the branch. Instead, he runs to the gold site to check it out. After getting rid of some sand, he finds the big gold rock and passes out next to it. In the next scene, Virgil pulls the branch out of his stomach, which causes him to bleed heavily. Then, he builds a fire and warms up a can. As he cleans the wound with the hot can, he starts to cry. After that, he paints sand on his face and falls to the ground. When he wakes up, a woman with a crossbow is pointing at him. When Virgil sees this, he starts to see the first woman. He killed the woman, gave the man some water to drink, and then left. When Virgil opens his eyes, he can't find the woman anywhere. He figures he must be hallucinating. He digs it out of the sand when the satellite phone rings. Keith asks Virgil about the woman, and Virgil says that he should get rid of her. Soon after the call is over, the woman shows up again and offers to help Virgil. But Virgil, who cares more about the gold than the woman, yells at her to leave. Before she leaves, the woman asks him if he has seen her sister, but Virgil hasn't. Later, when Virgil opens his eyes, he sees burned out fires and wild dogs all around him. He calls Keith right away and asks where he is. Over the phone, Virgil screams at him to come quickly because the wild dogs are trying to attack him. Here, it becomes clear that Keith is actually sitting far away from Virgil, using binoculars to keep an eye on him. He waits and watches until Virgil is attacked by the dogs and taken away. Even though Virgil is still looking at the gold, he can be seen being eaten by the dogs. Soon after, Keith drives up with his truck and an excavator attached. He looks at Virgil's dead body and then goes back to his truck to try to get something. As he turns around to go back, a shoots him in the chest. At the end of the movie, Keith falls down and tries to find out who shot him, but he can't find anyone. We really appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell because it is really important for us. Thank you.